All right, what's going on, class? Uh, so this week, we have to demonstrate the differences between a unilateral contract and a bilateral contract. So definition um, of a unilateral contract is a contract that is made between two parties, um, but it is only enforced when one party like actually begins to uphold their part of the contract. And a bilateral contract, again, is a contract made between two or more parties where it's enforced from the get-go. So some examples of that that we have, the unilateral contract example we came up with um, is like sales commission. So a salesperson is guaranteed sales commission on whatever they sell, but the commission is only like, you, they can only obtain it when they uphold their part of the contract or they make the sale. Whereas bilateral uh, contract example came up with this is like student housing, where, um, you know, if, if we sign a contract and they don't give us a place to live, you know, they're, they're violating it because they signed a contract and it's enforced from the get-go. All right. So our example this week, or for our quiz question this week, we wrote, Brian Quinn paid for a full semester of housing while he was at college. The check-in date was the 15th of September. When Brian tried to move in on the 15th, Larry, the housing manager, said he couldn't move in until the 20th of September. Now, Brian doesn't have a place to live. On the contract, it states that move-in date is on the 15th. What uh, contract is being violated in this situation? Um, for our correct answer, we have bilateral contract because um, it was a contract enforced from the get-go and, and it was made between the two parties. So. Yep. And so for wrong answer number one, we have unilateral contract. And the reason why that is wrong is because this isn't even a unilateral contract. It's a bilateral contract. Yep. For our second wrong answer, we had both um, un <laughs> unilateral and bilateral contracts are violated. Uh, that is not correct because um, the unilateral contract wasn't even in the situation at all. It was only the bilateral contract. And now our wrong answer number three is there is no contract violation in this scenario. Um, so from our understanding of the definitions of unilateral and bilateral uh, contracts from the readings and from, you know, uh, internet resources, um, there is in fact a contract being breached here and it's a bilateral. So that would be incorrect because there is at least one contract being violated. So that's our, uh, that's our video. That's what we have for this week. Hope you guys do well on the quiz and you enjoy the video.